Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Tutor Box. In today's class, I am going to discuss about ICSR, that is Individual Case Safety Report. So this is the another lecture of Pharmacovigilance Unit Four, and this is particularly from the ICH guideline for pharmacovigilance. So I already discussed various lecture of ICH guideline of pharmacovigilance. So you can go through with that lecture and see the playlist of pharmacovigilance. As well as you all know that at the end of lecture we have a five MCQ. So solve these five MCQ and give the answer in comment box. And as well as you can see the description box for the notes of this lecture. So now moving on the first we have to understand what is ICSR. Clear? So what is particularly ICSR? So ICSR is a report which contain information of suspected ADR. Occurred at one point of time due to one or more medicinal product. Clear, everyone. So, how we can also describe the ICSR? So, particularly ICSR describe about the patient, one patient, and a one or more identifier reporter who report the suspected ADR as well as it also described about the one or more identifiable suspected ADR and one or more suspected medicinal product. Clear? Then if you are looking on the medicine, so medicine may have a therapeutic effect as well as it have a side effects. So they are multiple side effects by a medicine and there is a we are giving medicine for a therapeutic effect. But in that case side effects occur during the clinical trial as well as post clinical trials and our pharmacovigilance department continuing monitoring this ADRs and it collect various ADR from both clinical trial as well as post clinical trial and these collected adverse drug reaction and valid adverse event are filled in the ICSR. Now we have to understand about the ICSR. So ICSR generated and prepared from solicited and unsolicited reports. So basically solicited reports we are getting from clinical trials as well as post marketing studies and patient support program. However, unsolicited reports are generally spontaneous reporting and it is from the media sources as well as literature sources and both of these solicited and unsolicited reports submitted via two ways. These two ways are paper mode and electronic mode. Clear everyone? Now, ICSR are filled by various forms. So there are two type of forms. The first one is mandatory form and the second one is voluntary form. If you are looking on the mandatory form, then mandatory form are filled by the marketing authorization holders. And these are mandatory for marketing authorization holder to submit report related to their product to regulatory authorities. Example of these are what? Ross CIOMS forms and US MEDVAS 3500A form. Then further if you are looking on the voluntary form then medical regulatory agency will get the form from the healthcare professional as well as non-healthcare professionals. These healthcare profession and non-healthcare professional report directly to the regulatory authorities. Clear? And what kind of forms we will found in the voluntary forms? Examples of these are US MedWatch form 3500B. Here look at the difference. Here 3500B is the voluntary form and 3500A is the mandatory form. Then the voluntary form, second voluntary form is UK Velo Card forms. Clear everyone? So this is about the forms. Then further question raised in our mind, what are the minimum criteria for valid ICSR forms? So it requires one patient, identifiable patient and we put the info of these identifiable patient like age, sex, name and various other information about the patient. Then we require a reporter means identifiable reporter. There may be a possibility that 
the reporter may be healthcare professional or non healthcare professional and for both of these we required age sex and name and other information of these person then the third one is the medicine so for medicine what we required we required a suspected medicine info like what is the med dra code of that drug and what is the batch number of this drug clear and the further we also required the suspected adr so identify the suspected reaction we required which date and time it occur and what is the time duration and in which hospital it was occurred so these are the minimum criteria means these four thing we required for each icsr report if any of the one is missing from that then this will not considered as a valid icsr so for valid icsr we all these four, four criteria should be filled and the the guidelines for the filling the form are given in the ich icsr e2br2 further they they are updated by e2br3 guidelines so we will discuss both of these guidelines in the next lecture further what pharmacovigilance department do the pharmacovigilance department regularly evaluate and process the valid icsr reports and these valid icsr reports under obligations of regulatory and legal obligations they are transmitted to the different regulatory parties okay so there are various parties like us fda ich who and various regulatory authority which are under the ich so after transmission of these valid icsr to regulatory authority what they will do they will do further analysis and discussion on these reports of the drugs and they will finalize what to do further about the new drug so the information gathered for icsr by various method like we are gathering it from electronic mode we are gathering it from paper mode and various agencies will gathering the information clear so after gathering and by proper analysis it will allow data analysis of all of these icsr reports and after analysis of the data this data is useful for risk and benefit balance of the medication if we have a more benefit than the risk then it will be acceptable and if there is a more risk than the benefit then we will not accept the drug for further use so after risk benefit analysis what we will decide we will decide the future of the drug means what we will do with the drugs so whether we will do the more study of the drug because that some data are missing so there is a requirement of the more studies and if there is a required in the dose modification then we will do the dose modification study and if there are a lot of side effect and fatal side effect or life threatening side effect then we will withdraw the drug so this is all about the icsr i will discuss ich icsr e2br2 and e2br3 forms in detail in my next lecture so just look on the mcq which i given for the icsr so the first question is what is the full form of icsr which is related to the pharmacovigilance a individual case safety reports b indian center of safety reporting c international center for safety reporting and d international council for safety reporting so you can choose the correct answer then the second one is what is the definition of icsr which is related to the pharmacovigilance so you can choose from these four options then the third one is minimum criteria for icsr is a identifiable patient b identifiable reporter c identifiable suspected adr and d all are correct Question number four: ICSR generated from a unsolicited reporting, b solicited reporting, c both of these, and d none of these. Question number five: Which of the following forms are considered under voluntary form? A raw SIOMS form and b US MedWars three five double zero A form, c both of these, and d UK yellow card system. So choose the correct answer. Give the correct answer in the comment box. I hope you people are able to understand about the ICSR. and if you think this lecture is useful then share this lecture to more and more students jai bharat jai hind